Hey everyone, welcome back to Jag Arcade. I'm your host, Zach Todd. And I'm Caleb. Today we look at re recent releases of the past months as well as upcoming games. SIE Japan Studios released PlayStation exclusive Gravity Rush 2. The sequel follows the events directly after the first one left off where Gravity Princess Cat, along with partners Raven and Sid, investigate a gravity storm taking place in their town of Hexville. Players are able to choose among three gravity styles, the original style from the first game, Lunar and Jupiter, Lunar will be light and increase Cat's speed and her ability to jump higher. Jupiter will make Cat feel heavy, giving her attacks more impact. Players can change between gravity styles using the touchpad. So have you ever played Gravity Rush? Uh, no, I have not. <laughs> I've, I've, I, was, I was that kid that kind of like stood at the demos at GameStop and kind of played it. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it's a really, it's really kind of a trippy, trippy game because, you know, it's one of those games like, which way is up? Like, oh, okay. Yeah, because she has control over like all these different gravity abilities, and the game's all about gravity, sky villages. Well, I mean, you, yeah, when you call your rush. yeah, when you call your game Gravity Rush, it's, yeah. it's probably got gravity involved. <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, she's like the princess of gravity. <laughs> the princess of gravity. It's Japan. What? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, as long as they don't make her the queen of gravity. Oh yeah, that, that's what I was wondering, like, she's a prince, who's queen? <laughs> <laughs> Capcom's latest installment in the Resident Evil franchise, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. This story follows Ethan Winters as he searches for his wife Mia, which leads him to the derelict plantation inhabited by the Baker family. Ethan makes use of weapons and tools in the fight against the Baker family and creatures known as the Molded. Healing herbs are used in the event of injury, and there are puzzles that may be solved the further the story. Instead of being an action-oriented, uh, the survival horror element pre present in earlier installments took priority. The game is also now played in a first-person view, making it easier to adapt to VR. All right, so do you own this game? I've, I want to get a hold of it, but I haven't been, had the chance yet. Nope, I, I haven't had the money to get it yet. I know Gray has it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, he was I, telling me about how uh, he was having trouble with this one guy, and he because the internet has yet to solve it, he can't solve it yet. Oh, uh, well, I haven't. Um, I was thinking about getting it, but uh, people have been pressuring me to get it for the VR. You know, I don't know if I'm down for that horror experience. Yeah, because from what I understand, you get to fight each member of the Baker family like one on one throughout the game at some point, like as the boss battles. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think uh, it's, kind of, it's kind of a nice change from the way they've been doing things, especially after uh, 6. Team Ninja released their action role-playing game, Neo, set in Japan during the year 1600, with players taking the role of a western samurai named William. The player guides William on missions through enclosed environments fighting both human enemies and supernatural beings called yokai. Missions are self-contained, hold alternate routes William can navigate, and selected from a menu rather than reached by navigating an open world. Neo is available now on PlayStation 4. Um, a lot of people have been comparing Neo to um, Dark Souls. Yeah, there's that obvious comparison. Yes, the uh, strategy is there, the difficulty is there, especially since they took out the co-op, which we were talking about that earlier, how Neo, Neo used to have a, uh, a co-op mode where you and your friend could just go in there and just ruin people, just destroy it. But they took that out and made it now where uh, you can still play co-op, but one of you has to have completed the mission first. Yep, which, I mean, that's still not bad because, I mean, for one of you at least it'll be easy. Yeah. <laughs> one of you's there like, I can't believe I had to do this whole level just so this guy can join me. <laughs> Although, according to Jameson, so far it's not that hard because he's got it from Gamefly or something like that or whatever. Yeah, he's renting it through Gamefly, which uh, he... He, he so far uh, said it's not that difficult in comparison to, say, Dark Souls. Yes. Uh, well, he said the bosses are still really, really difficult. It's just, like, the enemies you fight between the bosses are, like, balanced. Yeah. Don't have a Valentine this year? Of course you don't, because you're going to be stuck at home murdering all those bastard Vikings. Verona releases this Valentine's Day for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Take control of one of three factions. Be a bold knight, an honorable samurai, or a bastard Viking. Compete in multiplayer or in the single-player campaign. 
So I got to play the closed beta for this. I didn't. Yeah, you didn't because no internet. <laughs> mm. But I had lots of fun playing it, and I, I plan to get a hold of it when I get the money. I just don't want to be a Viking. Yeah, I, I played as the knight. I don't know if you can tell by my script, but you the like Vikings the you, bastards. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can tell from your script you're not a big fan of the Viking side. No, it's mainly just because of like what I've seen from the trailers, like. Out of everything I've seen from the trailers, they are the assholes. I don't know, though, because there's that fourth side of the single-player campaign. Yeah. That you don't really... We, the beta didn't have any of the single-player stuff, obviously. It was more for no. testing the multiplayer out. How was the... Did you ever get to do the one-on-one? Um, -on -one? Yeah. One-on-one -on -one wasn't so bad. What Was there stuff bad about the other? Well, I, I think more of it's... Once you see some of the maps, you start to get to a point where it's like, oh, I've seen this map. And sure, they make changes, like you'll see one map without snow, and then you'll see the same map later with it covered in snow. Because they change it based on, because the whole point of the multiplayer is it's rounds and stuff. I don't know if you saw how the multiplayer is played yet. And it's, everybody's trying to take over different sections of the land because you have an entire map in the multiplayer world. Oh, so it's kind of like... Um, and it's a faction war, essentially. Yeah, like how in Battlefield they do the whole, like, you take points A, B, and C, and then whoever controls all three for a certain amount of time wins. Yeah. So that... And eventually it resets. Yeah. Okay. I just... Uh, I, I watched people play it but I, I don't have internet yeah and based on um and based on who's controlling the land at certain points the maps will look different where you're fighting based on like for example like i said if you're say i have a map and since i played as the knights if i if my team owns a land it's going to probably not going to have snow on it because of where we're set but if the Vikings yeah. were to take that yeah. land, it would, have it would become snowy or something, or you would see their f banners all over the map. Stay tuned, we'll be right back with Jag Arcade. We finally bought a place. You seriously have enough save to do that? We've been putting a little aside each month. So at the end of the month, we have nothing left to save. How is my account overdrawn? When it comes to financial stability, don't get left behind. Get tools and tips for saving at feedthepig.org. Hey, Ma, I got the job. I've got the job. Welcome aboard. I've got a job to do today. Have a good first day at work, Mom. Donate to Goodwill. Help provide job training in your community. How can I help my daughter with her reading? Searching for help with Dachshund reading. No. <laughs> Let me try. Sarah's bright, but when she's reading, she has trouble sounding out words. Playing world music. What? I give up. Wait, I was trying to show you how Sarah feels every day. Frustrating, isn't it? Redirecting to understood.org. Join parents and experts at understood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues to help your child thrive. Welcome back to Jag Arcade. The final game this Valentine's Day is Sniper Elite 4. Sniper Elite 4 is the next game in the award-winning chart-topping shooter series. Launching February 14th for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC, Sniper Elite 4 combines genre-defying ballistics, breathless emergent stealth, and gripping third-person action across the largest and most diverse environments ever seen in a Sniper Elite game. So, have you played any Sniper Elites? Nope. I've played them all. <laughs> I couldn't. I think I could tell from your script of how much you like it. I kind of I, I kind of like it. It's okay. <laughs> Uh, it's it's a pretty good game. It's um, third third person, and you control different snipers and different arrows. So I'm probably gonna like it because I'm not a big fan of first person. Yeah, it's not really. It's um, you can kind of think about it, it as like like whenever I played it, it kind of reminded me of Metal Gear, but not with like a lot of things taken out of it. Yeah, like Just, they. I'm guessing there's not as many cutscenes yeah, for one. No. Nope. Uh, there's, uh, but it's got great graphics, and uh, I think Sniper Elite Three is a great one to start out on if you if okay. you can, and you can get that cheap for PlayStation. Yeah. So if you're not the kind who's into Sniper Elite Four or Sniper, you don't think you'd be into it. You can get uh, three for cheap and try that out. It's and probably like on it, the PlayStation Store. Yeah, it's probably on the PlayStation Store, and I know GameStop sells them really cheap. Well, going out of uh, 
video game news and into some VR news, it looks like the Oculus is in some trouble after the long-awaited trial of ZeniMax V Oculus went mostly in ZeniMax's favor, with Oculus and Facebook owing a combined $500 million to ZeniMax after ex-ZeniMax employee and Oculus co-founder Palmer Luckey broke a non-disclosure agreement he signed. Ooh, that's a, that's a big burn for VR. Yeah, and this is this was a trial like a year, like a f couple years in the yeah, making. Like they've been because they because Zenimax had been talking about this trial for a while and saying, yeah, we're taking Facebook and Oculus, and then it happened this past January and they won. <laughs> wow, that's a that's a big hit for uh, for Oculus, especially because it's Oculus is kind of what got everyone into VR, you know. And now, although you could also argue uh, the uh, other one. Um, yeah. What is it, uh, Vive? Vive, Vive yeah. yeah. HTC Vive. Yeah, we're not PC gamers. <laughs> <laughs> Vive, uh, yeah, the Vive, I've seen some videos for that, and that one's a really cool system, because, like, one thing you can do is I've seen people, like, hook the video cable from the Vive into their cameras, like the ones we have here, and they'll have a green screen behind them, and it would show them in the game world. Yeah. So. One of the things that, uh, I, that ZeniMax was trying to prove, though, was that they had owned the technology yes that was not proven although they did prove that they owned the software yeah i saw that i didn't see much on the case but but apparently they one, proved the software was theirs but not the hardware which one do you think is more important the software or the hardware i would argue uh, the software yeah because the software is what makes it run <laughs> yes <laughs> i mean o oculus it's a great VR system. It really is. Like, like I said, it's, yeah. it's kind of what got people into it. Like, when Oculus came out and people were starting to like fund it, HTC was like, let's make this. PlayStation was like, let's make this. Xbox was like, let's do something else. Samsung was like, let's make this. Because yeah. you got the Samsung one yeah, for your phones. Um, but yeah, this is, like I said, it's a big hit for VR. I think more so for Oculus and Facebook, though. Mainly, yeah. And I don't know how they're. I heard Zenimax is planning to try to get a, try to get the courts to st make it to where they can stop the Oculus from being sold. Huh. And that's uh, the Oculus is is supported by Mark Zuckerberg, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, well, <laughs> <laughs> looks like they're. You in win line. some, you lose some, Mark. Just like that whole Facebook trial back then. <laughs> At least that one he won. Yeah. Can't really argue with this one. I, it makes you kind of feel like Mark was sitting over there like, yeah, I've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, we'll get away with this. So much for that. <laughs> we'll be back after this break where Caleb and I will try to use time travel to stop an evil purple tentacle. <laughs> Don't worry, the 74 people were picked before me in the NFL draft. To fight childhood obesity, United Way and the NFL are helping kids play at least 60 minutes a day. Okay, time for the team obstacle course. Yay! What this place needs is more healthy kids. To get involved or donate, go to unitedway.org slash play60. Now I get it. to Jag Arcade. Whoa, that's a weird camera. I'm right here. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Jag Arcade. Oh. <laughs> so, so we, uh, we're playing Dave the Tentacle. Yeah. That's our new game. Need the developers mm, no. no, we don't need it this time. Yeah, we don't need developers commentary. But, it's, uh, it's not the, director's commentary. Lucas Arts. Woo! They're gone. 
<laughs> That's Disney now. <laughs> Disney Interactive. Oh, look at fishies. Oh, look at the pretty fishy. So, uh, you want to explain what I'm doing here? You're just going to let me experience this. Uh, I've actually never played Day of the Tentacle. Oh, fun. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know a lot of awesome things oh, about it, though. Oh, yeah, it's got the LucasArts humor. It's gonna be like Monkey Island all over again? Yeah. Oh, there's the tentacle. There's two? Yeah. That's the evil one. Mm, I'm thirsty. Oh, my. Oh. I don't think you should drink that. What we didn't know is that this was actually an episode of Captain Planet. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Planet. I can't or sing friends. that. That's copyright. I feel like I could. Like I could. What you could what? Oh my. Those are some emotions. Like I could. Whoa, he got his hand. Whoa, he's got hands now. That's great. So Tentacles getting hands. Oh, uh, this looks like one of those Newgrounds point-and-click games. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a point-and-click. Yeah. LucasArts what games. Is that JP? <laughs> <laughs> I think I need that for the band. If he had a British you know, accent. I, I don't even know why that dude has a British accent. He looks as American. Like he looks super American. Like I expect that kid to have a British accent. And it looks like he's brought us a note. Nope, he's got an American. Uh, American? From my American. Old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that purple tentacle oh yeah, this is a sequel. Oh yeah. Genius. This is his uh, Maniac Mansion. Yeah. Catch you later, Green. So, we kind of forgot to play the first game. Crazy Edison's forever. But now, I know that I must go... We could probably skip all this. Back to the mansion. <gasps> we gotta return to Maniac Mansion. The mansion. Okay, you can probably skip this. Skip. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Full circle. circle. Okay. Okay. We'll spread out, commando style. Oh my! You go through the area behind those double doors. I hope he's not commando wearing pants like those. <laughs> I'll maintain command HQ here. In the lobby. Oh, what so he's gonna, in other words, he's wussing out. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like the type of stuff I pulled in, in uh, school. Even though he's kind of like Freddy. Anatomy final tomorrow. I've got an anatomy final. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get a test for drum. Oh, yeah. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is. Where's his secret lab? So he's assuming the villain from the last game is the villain again. Okay, so cycle inventory, cycle menu, switch render mode. Oh. <laughs> I don't think we want to do that. <laughs> Change characters, move cursor, snap to hotspot. Right. And then we could always turn on the commentary. Huh. Oh. But this is not the type of game for commentary. We gotta finish that other game with commentary that we played last time. So where should I go, do you think? Chuck the plant. Chuck the plant, let's do it. Out the window. Come on. Okay. Pull Chuck the plant? Push Chuck. Push Chuck. Oh, oh Chuck's the name of the plant. Oh. Yeah. Not Chuck the plant. <laughs> yeah, Chuck the plant. I understood that it was his name. <laughs> Rack for, f oh, flyer. We got a flyer. Flyer, we got a flyer. Can I do that again? Oh, shit. Uh, thank you, hold it down. I had square, yeah. Make it flyer. Use flyer, look at, look at. We should probably look at. Damn it. That one looks like it's from a local hardware store. Well, oh. I need that. Well, I guess we should leave here then and go to the hardware store. That sounds uh, reasonable Open to me. Door. I'm not leaving this motel until I find those tentacles. Oh my. Well, <laughs> what do you want me to do? We know how those how no, uh, those type of adventures always end. Oh god, there's more. Oh, there's way more. <laughs> that was <laughs> That was a uh, very false. Oh, there we go. Yeah, just, yeah. Ooh. Should Let's we be see. in here? I feel like we're... I don't know. I feel like we're, uh... That, I feel like that would be a pull Looks for... Like Dr. Fred wearing a powdered wig. <laughs> Handsome in a way, but I'm glad he eventually accepted it. We should probably pull for this one. Because you can't put... Oh, oh. You can push a picture? I didn't know you could push a picture. I figured I you could pull, like he ended up doing. 
Where would the combination be? Swiss bank book. We gotta find out his Swiss co his uh, Swiss codes. Yeah. Need all those all those bank numbers. Hey, Doctor Fred doesn't have a penny. Oh, oh it's wow. useless. Why have a Swiss bank account if you've got nothing in it? Oh, is that a Darth Vader calendar? <gasps> yes, that, that is. is. Oh, there's a camera watching us. Both in real life and in the game. Yeah. I hope no one's watching. Everyone's I look so watching. goofy on video. <laughs> well, everyone's watching now, buddy, because you're being recorded. Oh, yes. God. Oh, what'd you do? Oh, you switched the render. Yeah. <laughs> that was horrifying. It's the render of the 90s. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Uh, let's play. Uh, Oh, oh, yes. We have to play it like 90s. this. We have to play it like this. I don't know, man. I kind of... Uh. I bet there's an achievement for playing the entire game like this. Oh, you There's mean like that time I screwed up, uh, what walk? was it? Grim. Grim Fandango. Yeah. Because I, I wouldn't, I refused to play with tank controls. Hoagie's got that part of the house. Uh, and I, I literally got every... There's something on the floor there. Yeah. I literally got every achievement except for the one. It's stuck to the floor. Well, it's gum. What do you, what do you Let's expect? Let's pull it. Give... Wait, what does that do? Give gum, gum with a dime stuck, stuck in it. It's stuck to the floor. Okay, oh, well, well, I think we'll have to find something to pick that up. Oh, yeah. Ring the service bell. Maybe somebody will help us. Pick up service bell. <laughs> that would be great if someone just came out here right now. Oh, fake barf. What the what? We have to... How did that get up there? I guess we gotta go through that door because he won't let us I upstairs any. No, not that one. Pretty sure I did. No, you tried the other the one. The covering that territory. Yeah. Oh. So it's something I'm doing wrong. So we go back in here. Because he won't let us. Oh, yeah. Did you use the phone? No. Eh. I left my little black book at home. Oh. Uh, oh, what? Oh, he's got a little black book. I, I didn't imagine him to be the type. Use textbook with safe. I'd rather not. <laughs> okay, I guess we should go back. Maybe the bank book? No. Huh. What's on the family photos? Uh, photos of family. Well, yeah. Boy, the Edisons are a spectacularly ugly family. <laughs> wow, it's from my favorite movie. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's Star Wars. Of course. Yeah. Luke is just... Lucas Arch just has to jack off in every game they do. I don't think we're allowed to say that one. Okay, so we need the nickel for the payphone. Yeah. Okay, but but we need to find out how to get the nickel. It looks broken, but there's something in the phone return. Something in the phone return? Hold on. You just said there was something in the phone return. Use dime to pick up dime. I yes. I don't think I can do that. Oh, oh, oh. Well, take the dime. It's ours now. Give dime on take it. Pick up. Is it pick up? Okay. It's ours now. now we are now a dime richer. What are we doing? Uh try the grandfather clock. What, what options did that have? Open. Aha. Uh -huh. A secret passage. <gasps> Trophy. This is all too easy. This is all too easy. We've been here for ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I got that dime. Oh yeah, you could have tra changed characters at any moment, probably too. Because you know how there was that change button, character button. No, there was. Yeah, at the beginning. Holy crap! That was one of the buttons they showed you. Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets actually, until one of them tried to take over the world and to tie the little brothers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that. Did you say Bernard? <laughs> uh -oh. Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. That's why you never trust a tentacle. Wait! Never oh, trust tentacle yeah. monsters. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk about it. <laughs> 
What possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Well... Leaping Labrat! Just Doctor asking, Seth, uh... What have you done this time, you meddling milk <laughs> Now Papa <laughs> is free to use his evil mutant okay. power to take yeah. over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops. I love how he has to walk like this. <laughs> like the only walking animation they made for him was this. It, <laughs> it probably was. Of course. Oh yeah, time for time travel. Oh crap. Here we go. This is all your fault. Oh, and this is the part where you can start changing between characters after this. Because I heard about this. Now, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the best time. <laughs> I love how everybody else is smiling except for him. Oh, so much for that. <laughs> of course not. This is the first time I've ever used it. <laughs> well. Well, I'll be. Bad news is, everybody gets sent to the wrong time, except for one. Lord, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. <laughs> Good job, Woodstock. <laughs> <laughs> what did it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. You figured Bernard would at least understand the E equals MC squared one. There goes the tentacle. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. Oh, God, he is a doctor. <laughs> it works. Yeah, but I not a doctor of medicine. It. And they said imitation diamond wasn't good enough. I don't think we're going to have enough time, though. Uh-oh. But, yeah, I don't think we have enough time. Yeah. We should probably... Chrono John. Oh, do it. Do it before we head out. I don't think it's much use without a diamond. Oh, that's just a time. Machine. Maybe I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs. Okay. Well, well that wasn't obvious. Anyways, so uh, I don't think we have much more time to play this. Yeah, we kind of. It's a long game. We spent a lot of time trying to figure out that freaking door. <laughs> Doctor Fred. So uh. Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll see you guys next time. We'll send it back to the studio. And we're out. And we're out, yep. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week, same time, Jag Arcade on Jag TV.